guys, okay, so I have very quickly had to get a shower and get dressed and then create this video because I've realized that tomorrow I'm out the house like all day because I'm going to Thorpe Park. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited. It being Wednesday means that normally I would just sit around doing nothing and then create my video tomorrow, but I am, yeah, I'm gonna be on roller coasters and enjoying my childhood all over again. So I don't really have the time to do it. So here we are. My biggest fear is spiders. I have arachnophobia and I've had this pretty much my entire life. I don't know why, I've never had any bad experiences with spiders, I just think they look really fucking terrifying. Even the ones that are like, tiny, like this big, even these ones give me the shivers just because of the way they move and how erratic they are and the fact that you just, you don't know what they're gonna do. Most of the time, they just sit there and they just stare at you and then they just go off and do their own thing. Yet in my head, they're plotting to kill me. This is my fear, and this is classed as a rational fear. Whereas someone who's scared of pencils, that's an irrational fear. If you are scared of pencils, then, not gonna lie, that's kind of amusing. Also, I've literally just thrown on, like, my biggest hoodie that I have, because I don't have any clean t-shirts, so I'm probably gonna get really hot filming this video. But yeah, there are like a handful of fears that everybody will be able to recognize, such as arachnophobia, the fear of spiders, or people being scared of snakes, or fear of heights, or fear of clowns. Everybody knows someone that has one of these fears, and there's a list of about 20 fears that are like the top rated. Of course, arachnophobia being the top rated one, where 48% of women have arachnophobia, and 12% of men have it. That's just over every one in 10 men having a fear of spiders, which I think is actually quite weird because it's something so small, yet the guy who is meant to be the breadwinner of the family, the alpha male, is scared of something the size of his big toenail. The thing that gives me the creeps isn't the legs, isn't the constant scurrying around and all this, it's the eyes. The fact they have eight eyes, that, that's what puts me off. It's not the fangs, it's not the hairs, it's the eyes. I want to go and skydive. I mean, I'm the kind of person who's like, I, I, I enjoy danger. When it comes to spiders, however, I become a massive wimp. Like, I become really sort of like, uh, no, nah. See, I have people who are like, oh yeah, go to Australia, it will be great, you'll experience the community and the nature and all that. But all I'm hearing is big spiders. They hide under the toilet and bite your ass. They hide in your shoe and poison you. They're everywhere. They rain from the sky in Jamaica. What is that? That's not right. That just gives me the shivers. I have people telling me you shouldn't be scared of the smaller spiders. They're, they're more scared of you than you are of them. And probably the same rule applies to tarantulas. And yes, okay, there is probably no reason for me to be scared of spiders this big. Except something called a black widow. This big will kill you if it bites you. So, you know, <laughs> I don't like them. One of my best friends has, I want to say, the most terrifying bedroom I think I will ever go into. Because he has, I think, five or so spiders. And when I say spiders, I mean tarantulas. Like the big ass things with the legs and the hairs and the fangs and just, you know, the terrifying ones. One thing I've noticed is wearing this jumper, my eyes look very blue. Like really blue. That's why I like wearing this jumper. I mean, look at them. They're lovely. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe below for this video. If you want to see any more of my stuff, then check out my channel down below. Consider subscribing. I want to hit 200 subscribers, hopefully by like June, July. But you know, I mean, we might get there, we might not. But yeah, I hope you'll never. Thank you for watching and goodbye.